Yesterday I did a video about the Windows 7 features. Unfortunately, YouTube would not take it. And I did three podcasts and the first one I uploaded it didn't take. So the other two were kind of left hanging. So I'm going to do a repeat here. Sorry that the, the features video didn't get uploaded like uh, some of you wanted to see. But I'm basically going to go over some of the stuff that you'll see with Windows 7. Um, not the basic, because the other video I did was um, Windows 7 Basic. This is running, this version is run, running all the features and stuff. And I'm just going to show you how it looks. So as you can see, this right here is the Windows 7 desktop. If you'll notice, the taskbar is slightly different in uh, respects that it doesn't actually have the titles anymore. But you can put that back on. If you watch the, the Windows 7 Basic video, um, you will see that you can still bring back the old taskbar. Anyways, so this is optimized for touch screen for uh, tablets and whatnot. And one of the cool things is, is if I have everything minimized or even if I have Windows up, if I hover over, um, if you can see that here, the desktop, by one of the icons, it will show you here what you have running. So I have two windows in Merc open, and then I go over, if I want to see my chat room, I hover over it, and it will show. I go over to services window, it will show up here. The same with over here. And, 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 and it's really smooth too, I have to say. So if I have Digsby up, if I have my Flash Media Encoder, if I have these two up, well, if I find, if I have a, all kinds of windows all over the place opened and I want to see one, if I just hover over here and then I wanted to select uh, the chat room, I just hover over and you can see here how it, it disappears here. You can still see a little bit of the outline, that's about it, but you can see everything else. Another thing, if you hover over into the corner here of this screen, it will get rid of everything here so you can see your desktop and hover away. So what you can do too is um, this has snapping. So if I have my chat room here open and I want to, if I had even a touch screen, I just take my mouse or my finger if it's a touch screen, bring it all the way to the top. If you can see this, see how it kind of opens up a bit? Release and it maximizes it. I don't have to use the minimize or maximize buttons, but I can still use them. So that's what I do. Another thing is it has, um, I call it scroll snapping. So if you wanted to uh, resize the window or whatnot, halfway, if I bring it here and I uh, resize it, and then I resize it all the way to the top, you're going to see this. See how it shows up? It, it'll automatically snap it. I can do the same with this window. Yep. I can do the same with this window. Just scroll up. Oh, well, this one can't maximize. This one's the same. So if I had my window here, see, and then instead of resizing it or whatever because it's already stretched or not, just at the top here, resize it, and it will go back to my default setting. How cool is that? How easy is that? It is easy. It is awesome. Definitely cool feature that they added with Windows 7. That's going to be totally awesome. And like. It's just, it's flawless. This is the Build 7000 right now. You can get your copy at Microsoft.com and uh, test drive it. And I'll show you other f a couple of other few things here. Um, I'll show you Microsoft, well not Microsoft Paint, but Paint. Well, Paint is slightly different now. They have some different things now that you can use. It's actually an upgraded version of Paint, and you can actually do some neat effects with it. It's um it's pretty neat. I happen to like it. So it's got the ribbon now. You'll you'll notice a lot of the programs in Windows 7 have the ribbon. I'll also show you that where is it? WordPad is also slightly different as it does have the ribbon up here. So a little bit more information. Another tool you will find handy that has been upgraded in Windows 7 is the calculator. It's um, it's better. It's been redone. It doesn't look plain anymore, and you can actually do. Um, it's got some templates built in for you. So, like, if you wanted to calculate your gas mileage, it even tells you a binary code. Like, if I type something, 
it'll show the binary number right here for that like zero one zero zero one one zero zero it's got some neat little built-in things that would be neat and uh, cool to use especially you know just bring up the calculator you want to calculate your gas mileage right then and there so that's another upgraded thing that they did and I happen to enjoy it uh, other things that I'll show you is they have this cool thing called the snipping tool it's like version 2 of screenshot you know you do like control print screen and all that well you do the snipping tool it um, whitens out your desktop a bit and you just select and then the program will open the snipping tool and then you can save it as a PNG JPEG anything like that there's your screenshot that is cool that way you know you can only highlight what you want and then save it and whatnot. Windows 7 definitely has some awesome new features in it. And uh, so you do want the old taskbar. Let's say you don't like it. If you right click and go to properties here from the taskbar, you can click use small icon so it'll make everything smaller. Click taskbar buttons, combine and taskbar is full. And there, you got your your text and everything. And you can always change it back and it's really easy it's actually easier than Windows Vista if you wanted to customize right click and click personalize and then you can have your themes here there's the pink theme and it will actually change your desktop background and you can actually go online and get more themes so it's pretty neat stuff here you can go in uh, desktop background you can even select what pictures you want and then you can go change picture every 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 3, 30 minutes, 1 day, you can shuffle them, you know, it's just, it's really cool. So when you come back or whatnot, you'll always have a different background, and it fades it too, like as you can see, it fades. And uh, it's got some pretty good pictures, and the pictures for the background are pretty sharp, so, you know, it's optimized for high resolution monitors and stuff so if you haven't already yet get your copy of Microsoft Windows 7 the beta it is build 7000 you are definitely gonna love it I've been playing my, some of my games on it uh, I was playing crisis on it the only problem I had with crisis is it wouldn't work in full screen when I go to select to play in full screen what it would do is it would crash but it worked in window mode and uh, it worked great and actually the the 64-bit version worked great too and um, you know it's light on resources I have to say Windows 7 will work on lower end hardware than what Windows Vista use also the boot time is faster it actually does use less memory but if you have lots of memory and it will actually utilize it so you know the more memory the better obviously but it will actually utilize your memory it's a pretty awesome operating system and for the beta it is phenomenal it is like awesome so hopefully you enjoyed this some of the features you can do and some of the little things you can do with Windows 7 make sure to check out our website at macintech.net live.macintech.net and you can also email us with questions at questions dot at macintech.net and uh, let me know what you thought of this video leave some comments and whatnot subscribe to our YouTube channel follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash macintech stop in our chat room which is on macintech IRC irc.macintech.net it seems that Windows 7 is the hype these days and it is totally awesome and I'm glad that the chat room actually talked me into actually trying to beta because you know what betas eh, you know but running the Windows 7 beta is actually pretty awesome it, it's it's got a few bugs but it's a beta so I'm sure they'll get them you know all sorted out and everything been sending lots of feedback and stuff you know features and stuff they should add some things they can fix or whatnot some problems that are you know that are still coming up but I'm gonna tell you this is going to be an awesome operating system Mac users may consider buying a PC again and the Wow does start now We'll chat at you later.